Hey guys, how you doing? My name's Nathan, and I've done about five years total in jails and institutions in Indiana, and uh, there's uh, many stories along the way. I went to prison when I was about 30 years old because I was caught dealing a $20 bag of heroin. I received a 10 year sentence. Four of those 10 years were suspended, so that meant six years in the Department of Corrections. So, six years in the Department of Corrections before July 1st of 2014 meant I would actually only have to serve three years. And if I had went in there and did things right, I would have served two years and gotten out with time cuts and early release programs. But I did not do that. While well, I was at the min minimum medium security unit, I screwed up a couple times and ended up in a maximum security prison, Indiana State Prison, in IDU, the Intensive Disciplinary Unit. And it was a horrible place. My crime should have never been able to classify me, classify me into a prison like that, but my choice as well in prison did put me there. But because I was there, my life was saved. I do truly believe that. Me making it through the things that I've made it through and seen the things that I've seen, living the life that I'm living now is most of the time not going to happen. It's a prison where there's violence at every second of every day. In IDU, where you're on 23 hours in one lockdown, you have a rec partner. And the first person I seen stabbed in prison was murdered right in front of my cell in a segregation unit in IDU. The kid that was stabbed was being falsely accused of sexually assaulting a white boy. And an Aryan Brotherhood member was told to handle it. And handling it is what he did. The young kid did die. And the repercussions of the Aryan were five days in a padded cell and he lost three months of good time because that was the rest of the good time that they could take from him. For some reason, he was not criminally charged. They said the camera was not working, which is crazy because it happened 12 feet away from where the camera's positioned, pointed directly at... <coughs> the spot where it took place and nothing was seen the young kid was screaming for his life for 15 minutes before any guard walked back there and the whole time the phone was off the hook because when the young kid was attacked by the Aryan he was calling his mother or family or whoever and all I can imagine is that he got punched in the face as he was talking on the phone and that phone was dangling there and his family heard their loved one stabbed to death for a false accusation what that kid was 
currently in that part of the prison for was because he had 30 days to do for a parole violation. I am not sure of the crime that he originally committed, but what he was in prison for and in segregation for was a 30-day parole hold, and he lost his life because of false accusations. It's just a game that some people play to entertain themselves, their own personal entertainment, because we're locked in a cell for what's supposed to be 23 hours a day. Sometimes it's 40 hours before we get our hour, hour, hour out if guards aren't doing their job, which is a usual basis. The kid lost his life for no reason whatsoever. And the Aryan did nothing but an extra 90 days for it. So, that just goes to show you the prison system doesn't truly care about you. They put a person with no violent history that was caught selling a $20 bag of drugs in a position where it was life or death every waking moment of the day. It was a complete and utter war zone at all times in that place. And yeah, of course, everybody makes the best of the worst situation, or at least that's their goal, but not everybody can do that. When you've got 2,000 guys behind a 40-foot wall, 85% of them are never going home, or if they do, it's going to be when they're in their 70s or 80s, because they're there for violent offenses, mostly murder, many sexual offenses. The worst of the worst are, are in this prison, Indiana State Prison. It's a crazy place to be, guys. I have plenty of stories to come. My main goal is to prevent kids from going down the path many of us have chosen to put us in places like that. But many of the, those voices will never be heard because they'll never be home. My personal friend, Ronald Sanford, a.k.a. Ariel, that's what he goes by, is beyond rehabilitated. He's been incarcerated for 35 years for a crime that he committed at 13 with a kid that was 15 years old. That man deserves a second chance. The man is beyond educated and he would give you the shirt off his back but he's not being given a second chance. But the older of the two kids that did commit these horrible crimes served just over two years because he blamed the younger kid for the double homicide. You and me both know a 13 year old didn't just commit these two murders on his own with a 15 year old in the house at the same time regardless of the situations but back on to prison it's a horrible place to be guys my name's Nathan White this is to hell but back and better and I will uh, see you next time